Friday is the quiz. It's all graphing. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you, I think, three or four graphs to try out on your own. If you can do them, great. You'll be ready for Friday. Uh, also, I made a, I switched my mind. I'm not going to have you use Desmos on the quiz. It's ridiculous. No, it's, for, so you could just copy it over and that's it. No, no, sorry. Sorry, no, we don't need another week. Sorry. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry, I know, yeah. Yep. I usually am, yeah, you're right, but I just, it's not, it's not a good idea. Uh, probably not, but that, ha that's not, decision's not final yet, but right now it's not looking like it. Monday we start the last unit. Okay. Yeah, I know, because it's been so strenuous your second semester in this class. It's been real strenuous, yep. I always ask for a lot. That that 15 minutes every day, whew, it's getting to you. It's starting to uh, wear on you. All right, let's get going. First off, you have to start figuring out what of these are going to look like before you even graph them. There's three, there's two types we've done so far, only two. First two look like this. When it's just a number out in front with the cosine or the sine. Anybody, those were the first graphs I had you do. Anybody remember what they formed? Just circles. All right, that's all they were, were circles. And if it had a cosine in it, anybody remember where the circle ended up? On the X. And if it had a sine, the circle ended up on the Y. And then we started graphing these the last two days when I put a plus or minus with it. Those are the hearts. The cart, cardioid graphs. All right, those are your hearts. All right, I'll just put it. It's easy for people to remember that way instead of the official name. All right. So at least before you look at it on Friday, say, okay, I should get a circle. I should get a heart. Or here's what we're going to go into today. And if you could go to page 31 of your packet, that'd be great. Rose petals today. Rose curves. All right. So you're going to have something. We're just going to start looking like this a little bit. All right. But hopefully a lot better than that. All right. Do you see, take a look first on page 31. I'm going to skip around. I know I'm not going one, two, et cetera. I'm going to skip around. Do you see the difference between this equation and the other ones I just showed you up here? We see the definite difference. Now you have a number in between here. All right. There's a number in between the sine and the theta, cosine and the theta. All right. So these are going to be pedal graphs. All right. We should have some pedals around. All right, those numbers in there are pretty powerful. All right, everyone see the number in between cosine and the theta? That number would be three. If that number is odd, that tells you how many pedals you're going to have. Okay, so that's the first thing. If you could just jot down some notes here and there. All right, so if n is odd. And again, when I talk n, I'm talking that number right there, all right, between the cosine and the theta. If n is odd, that's the number of petals we're going to have. Well, what if it's even? Calm yourself. I'll get there in a second. Okay? But if n is odd, that's the number of petals I'm going to have. Everyone see the number out in front? What's the number out in front here? Four. That's the length of the petal. So everyone knows where four is here. That's how far the pedal is going to go out to four. It's not going to go anywhere past four or below. It's going to go out to four. All right. So the second thing I'm going to have you write down. Okay, everyone take a look. The number out in front, that's going to be the length of the pedal. Okay, please stop me at any time. I'm going real slow here because a cosine pedal is a heck of a lot different than a sine pedal. Okay, everyone ready? This this goes for any type of pedal graph. All right, this will tell you if it's odd. That'll tell you how many pedals you have, and then the number out in front will tell you the length of them. Everyone ready? Cosine, cosine is referred to with what axis? It's related to what axis? X-axis. First pedal on a cosine curve is always on the x-axis. Okay, first pedal on the cosine curve 
is always on the x-axis. Now, how do you make them? Ready? How long is this pedal going to be? Four. So on the x-axis, aka zero, I'm going to plot four because it's going to go out to four. One, two, three, four. Any cosine graph, the first pedal is always on the x-axis. Now, here's the thing, though. You know, how, how wide is this sucker going to be? Is it going to be a little bit more narrow? Here's how you're going to find out. You are going to plug in the degree measures on top and on the bottom of zero, just like we've done the last whole unit here. Okay? So anybody remember what it goes by? Because it's not labeled on this one. Anybody remember what we went by? Pi over 12s, yep. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to plug in pi over 12. And anybody remember the one below it now? There's 24 total. So 23 pi over 12. Okay? And this is why I have a blank. This is why I have a blank grid for you. All right, you can plug in your own numbers now. So let's do pi over 12. And we're going to do 23 pi over 12. Just so you can get an idea of how wide these pedals are. Because I do want it to be pr pretty precise. So go ahead right now. Make sure you're in radians. Find out what pi over 12 is going to be. And 23 pi over 12. Plug it in. Let's go. Let's go. Plug it in. Four cosine three times those values. And it should be less than four. Nothing goes past four here. Because the length of the pedal is four. Nothing should go past four. Make sure we're in radian mode, got it. Compare with people around you that you trust. Four cosine three times pi over 12. We getting about 2.8. 2.8. Please ask if you can't get 2.8. Let me know because we need to do something in the calculator to get 2.8. And that's going to be for both of them. I don't know if anybody plugged in uh, 23 pi over 12, but it's also 2.8, isn't it? Okay, because it starts repeating. So go ahead, plot your 2.8. So 2.8 pi over 12, 2.8, 23 pi over 12. Go ahead and plot them. One, 2.8. One, 2.8. And then now from here, if you want, go ahead. The pedals always start at zero. All right, always start at the pole. And you can draw it. That's Jesus, that garbage. You can draw in your first pedal here. That goes out to four. What, Matt? Oh. Eating. Great. Keep feeding your face. But hey, whoa, we said how many pedals should this graph have? Three, right? If, if that number is odd, it should be that number of pedals. So where are the other two? Ready? They are evenly spaced out. So we take that number, that odd number here, 3, and we take 360 divided by that number. Okay? We take 360 divided by that number. What do you guys get there? So every 120 degrees, we're going to have a pedal of the length of 4. 
every 120 degrees. So right now I'm at zero. Can you find on this graph where 120 would be or it's radian equivalent here? 120. If you don't like going by radians, anybody remember in degrees what it goes by? It goes by 15 degrees. So now you can find where 120 would be right now. So go ahead, find where 120 would be. Or you could just convert 120 to radians real quick. Where are you on the graph? Two pi over three, and that gets, goes out to what? Whoa, goes out to four, right? So at two pi over three, one, two, three, four. And here's the good one. Guess what's to the left and to the right? 2.8, boom, 2.8. Once we know the pattern and the, how the numbers work, it goes pretty quick. So one, 2.8. 1, 2.8. Yeah, look at that butte. Okay, so we're at 120 now. Where's this last pedal going to be? I go another 120, 240, whatever 240 in radians. You, you guys, I can't do that for you. Okay, you got to find where that is on the grid. 240 in radians. And then where's 240 on in radians? 240? Four pi over three, that goes to four. And then guess what's to the left and to the right of it? 2.8 again. And then how beautiful is that, huh? Yeah. There you go. There's our graph. Okay. I think there, I'm not too versed on it, but I think there is a way of telling you a table. Yeah. Yep. I'm getting a table on there. But I think you have to punch in the values first that you want. Like you have to punch in, you know, 120, 240, stuff like that. All right. Okay, everyone good? We good so far? Cosine, and again, cosine, hey, cosine always starts on the x-axis. First number tells you how the length. All right, now what if this bad boy's even? Okay, if it's odd, that's the number of pedals you get. Now I want you to go to page 33 now. Still a cosine one, everyone identifies, still cosine, but now what do you know about that value? It's not odd now, it's even. So here's the rule for any even number there. You will have two times that number of pedals. All right, let me, let's write that down here. You'll have, if even, all right, if even, you'll have two times that number. So I'll put two times N is the number of pedals. So how many pedals are we going to have in this graph? Four pedals. And that goes for any cosine or sine graph. If it's odd, that's the number of pedals we have. If it's even, it's two times that. Where's the first one always on a cosine curve? At zero. But now how far out is it going to go? Out to six. Everyone see how this is going? Nice. It's nice until we get to sine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go ahead and get 23 pi over 12 or pi over 12 in for me, just so we can get how wide this pedal is going to be. Is it six cosine?
Again, you know you're doing something wrong if that number's bigger than six. So I'm hoping we get out five about, I'm getting on my calculator about 5.2. If I round to the nearest 10, 5.2. Okay, so let's graph it. Left and the right gonna be 5.2. One, two, three, four, five point two. On the other side, about five point two. Sorry. Yeah. Say that again. Looks like a looks like a pedal. Yeah. So does it go like circle the whole way, or does it go straight from? Yeah. And then wait. So it goes outside the line. Just make it look like a pedal. Uh, you do, I do, right here. Like, I don't want a skinny one going in here. I don't want one looking like you, a little frail one in there going like that. All right. Too harsh, anybody, at this point in the year? Too harsh? Okay. Hey, thanks for showing up today. All right, moving on. Yeah. When you're not here, every day that ends in day. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, enough, enough. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. You got four, you got four pedals. How far apart are they gonna be? How do we get how do I know they're gonna be 90 degrees apart? 360 divided by that end value, two. I'm sorry, divided by four pedals, sorry. There's four of them, not three of them. Four pedals, yes, they are going to be 90 degrees apart. It makes it easy for us, right? So where's the next pedal going to be? Pi over two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once we do the first pedal, the, next, the others are should be pretty easy now because I know what's going to go to the left and the right, 5.1. Please, you're just envious. All right, whatever. I'm good. Everyone, all good here, because sine is a totally different beast. All right. <laughs> cosine. Hey, cosine's easy. Always starts where. X, and then you can easily find how many degrees apart they are. That's the cosine's beautiful. Sine is just out of control. You ready for a sine one now? Page 30. No. No. All right, you ready? Okay, tell me something about this graph first. Okay, it's sine, yep. How many pedals? Four. Why four pedals? This number's even, multiply it by two. That still stays the same. Still going to be four pedals. Four pedals. How far out are they going to go? What's the length of each pedal? Four. Four. 
How far apart are they going to be? Why 90, Nick? 360 divided by 4, they're going to be 90 degrees apart. All right, here's the big difference between sine and cosine is where they start. Okay, where they start. Okay, and this is going to get a little crazy, so please just follow with me here. Cosine, you knew, always started on the x-axis. That's not the case. It depends on if that number is even or odd. Okay, depends if it's even or odd. This number, even or odd? Even, all right? So I'll do, I'm trying to put this the simplest way possible. So if it is even, it starts halfway between how far apart they are. So this will not start on the x, it will not start on the y. The first pedal will start at what's half a 90. It will start at 45 degrees. Okay? Whatever, the, so if this is 180, it'll be 90 degrees, it'll start. It's always halfway between where the pedals are, okay? I haven't even got into if the number's odd, okay? So uh, here we go. At 45 degrees. <laughs> sorry. One, two, three, four. Oops, sorry, I'm at the wrong one. One, two, three, four. And then same thing, go ahead. Now you actually know what's to the left and to the right. It's not, hey, it's not 23 pi over 12 or pi over 12. What is it? It's going to be, in this case, pi over 3 and pi over 6. So go ahead, pi over, make sure you're using sine now. What's that pi over 3? What's that pi over 6? No number bigger than one, or no, no number bigger than four. About 3.8 are we getting? Did I type that in right? Three, what did I miss? Two, four sine. Yeah, that's not a pi, that's an E. One jab. Yep, go ahead. Three point five, yeah. I'm listening, Matt. I don't know. That's where it's going to end up. That's that's my rule. That's my rule. Okay, where's the next pedal going to go? It was, we started at 45 and we said, how many degrees apart are they? 90, so where's the next one gonna be? 135, also known as what for radians? Three pi over four, here we go, three pi over four. Next one. One thirty five plus another forty plus another ninety. Two two twenty five. Yep. So go where's two twenty five on here? Five pi over four.
And then the last one will be at. Should be something pi over four, right? Because that's where we started. We all good. So this is sine. Again, the, uh, the, the big difference between sine and cosine is where they start. Okay, sine, if the, that number's even, it'll start halfway in between how far apart they are. All right, now take a look at our last one we need to graph, which is page 32. Can you please do me a favor because there's a typo here. This should be R equals five sine three theta, not cosine. We're sticking with the sine curves here. So it should be sine. All right, tell me something about this. Okay, odd, how many petals? Ooh, three, right? If the number's odd, it's the number of petals. Three petals. Length of each petal. How far apart are they going to be? I got three petals. How far apart are they going to be? 360 divided by 3, 120 degrees. All right, now that number's not even, so it's not going to start at 60. Okay, it's not going to start halfway in between here. Ready? <laughs> I know you're not, either am I. I want you to come up with it. All right, I'm going to make you think for a couple minutes here. I want you to come up with, if that number's odd, here's, how I, here's where I should start it. Okay, I'll, I'll show you what it should look like right now. So 5 sine 3 T-H-E-T-A. That's what it should look like at the end. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ready? Don't, you, you don't see anything yet. You don't see a pattern. Watch. That's 3. I'm going to change this to 5 now. Another odd number. All right, I'm going to change it to another odd number. Let me go back to three. Here's five. Ready for seven? Well, I know that because I'm changing the end value here, yes. There's seven, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for maybe where I should start this graph. Ready? Here you go. Here's three. What do you got over there, dirt stash? Y-axis, right? Hold on. Where? Where? Okay, ready? I change it to five. I change it to seven. They keep alternating every odd number. I, you found the pattern. Shouldn't you be happy with yourself? So when we have it at three, it's going to start where? On the bottom of the y-axis. Now look, am I really going to get out of control and go 7, 9? No, I'm not. All right? No, I'm not. So if that number's odd and it's 3, it starts at the bottom. If it's 5, it starts alternating. It would start at the top. So this one here, what was our number? 3, so this will start at the bottom of the y-axis. At what number? 5. So, sign, so just sum this up. The sine curve is either going to start halfway in between how far they are apart, or it's going to start at the bottom or the top of the y-axis. So we got 5. Ooh, boy, yikes. What's in between, huh, kids? What are you going to check in between here? Anybody remember what 3 pi over 2 was? That's 270, so minus 15 plus 15. So we got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This will be 17 pi over 12. 18, 19 pi over 12. 
or if you want, just turn it into degrees and make sure your calculator's in degrees. Matt. Yep. Sine with an odd number. No, 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 no. Ready? One. I'm, ready, Matt? That's, I knew I was hoping somebody would have brought that up. If that's one, I'm not even talking pedals. What am I talking? Yeah. Okay. And then start alternate. Yep. Okay. So if you want to add into your table right now, 17 pi over 12. And 19 pi over 12. What number are you getting out decimal wise? Something less than uh, five, I hope. What are we getting out? 3.5, can I get a confirmation? No offense. 3.5? Yeah, Brian, you're so much more I am, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so 3.5. Easy, kids, here, because how many pedals did you say there was going to be? Three, okay. Let's. Th how far apart are they? 120. So can, so we're at 270 now, right? So can we go backwards? Because if you go forwards, there's going to be a problem, right? Or no? What's for 270 plus 120? No, we'll be all right. Never mind. Yeah, we're all right. We can go. I thought we were going to go past 360, but I'm an idiot. So. I know that. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm not, we're not, we may not be at your level. 270 minus 120. 150. Where's 150 on here? Where's 150? Five pi over six. Yep. And then where's the final pedal going to be? 150 minus 120 is 30. 30 in radians, pi over 6. I'm not going to go higher than, honestly, Grace, I'm probably not going to go 5. Yeah. But if it's even number, you just got to go halfway in between. Yep. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to give you a couple to do on your own to see how you do by yourself, not with anybody else. Sure. Yeah, I, I know of the guy. Yeah. Um, is he still, is he still